there's just some questions I would love to ask your intuition about what's GPT able to do and not. So it's allocating approximately the same amount of compute for each token it generates. Is there room there in this kind of approach to slower thinking, sequential yeah. thinking? I think there will be a new paradigm for that kind of thinking. Will it be similar like architecturally as what we're seeing now with LLMs? Is it a layer on top of the LLMs? Uh, I can imagine many ways to implement that. I think that's less important than the question you were getting at, which is, do we need a way to do a slower kind of thinking where the answer doesn't have to get like, you know, it's like, like I guess like spiritually, you could say that you want an AI to be able to think harder about a harder problem right. and answer more quickly about an easier problem. And is I think it, that will be important. Is that like a human thought that we're just having, you should be able to think hard? Is that a wrong intuition? I suspect that's a reasonable intuition. Interesting. So it's not possible once the GPT gets like GPT-7, would just be instantaneously be able to see, you know, here's here's the proof of from our theorem. It seems to me like you want to be able to allocate more compute to harder problems. Like, it seems to me that a system knowing, if, if you ask a system like that, Prove Fermat's last theorem versus what's today's date? Unless it already knew and had memorized the answer to the proof, assuming it's got to go figure that out, seems like that will take more compute. But can it look like a basically LLM talking to itself, that kind of thing? Maybe. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could imagine working. What, like, what the right or the best way to do that will be. Uh, we don't know. You've given ChatGPT the ability to have memories. You've been playing with that about previous conversations. And also the ability to turn off memory. Which is, I wish I could do that sometimes. Just turn on and off, depending. I guess sometimes alcohol can do that, but <laughs> not not in, uh, not optimally, I suppose. Uh, what, what have you seen through that, like playing around with that idea of remembering conversations or not? We're very early in our exp explorations here, but... I think what people want, or at least what I want for myself, is a model that gets to know me and gets more useful to me over time. This is an early exploration. Um, I think there's like a lot of other things to do, but that's where we'd like to head. You know, you'd like to use a model and over the course of your life, or use a system, there'd be many models, and over the course of your life, it gets, it gets better and better. Yeah, how hard is that problem? Because right now it's more like remembering little factoids and preferences and so on. What about remembering, like, don't you want GPT to remember all the shit you went through in November and all the, yeah. all the drama and then you yeah, can, because yeah, yeah. right now you're clearly blocking it out a little bit. It's not <laughs> just that I want it to remember that. I want it to integrate the lessons of that Yes, and remind me in the future what to do differently or what to watch out for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we all gain from experience over the course of our lives, varying degrees. And I'd like my AI agent to gain with that experience too. Um, so if we, if we go back and let ourselves imagine that, you know, trillions and trillions of context length, if I can put every conversation I've ever had with anybody in my life in there, if I can have all of my emails, input, out, like all of my input output in the context window every time I ask a question, that'd be pretty cool, I think.